up for sale from Redvale RV is this 2012 Abbey Adventurer 320 4 berth. This has just arrived in the country. It has just had a brand new warrant of fitness and registration put on it. It will have all new New Zealand power points installed and a new LPG warrant of fitness as well. This caravan is 6.8 metres long and sleeps four. As you can see from the outside, it's a tidy caravan. It's been well cared for. Flew through its warrant of fitness. Only very, very minor pin dents. This caravan is also fitted with motor movers. I'll show you how they work shortly. Basically turns your caravan into a remote control car. So you have a remote and you can drive the caravan very slowly into a tight gap if you're struggling to reverse it into a, a place. So this is ideal for someone with a tight driveway. See, it's got some skylights. Over here on this table, this is the accessories that come with the caravans, everything but the radio. This is the ladder for the bunk bed, a new step, brand new LPG bottle. You got your water pump there, your jack handles, and a brand new extension lead. It also has a brand new deep cycle battery. Now this control here is the controller for the motor movers and the motor movers are mounted to the chassis down there. Now they touch onto the wheel and you can drive this caravan like a remote control car. So if I stand back here, I can move the caravan forward and back the push of a button. We can also turn it into any tight spots. This caravan is also very lightweight, coming in at just under 1200 kilos, so it's very easy to tow and manoeuvre around by hand if you need to. It's equipped with handles on each corner to manoeuvre it around in a driveway. Also underneath, on every corner of the caravan, is levelling jacks. Stabilises, so when you get to site, you put the legs down and it's nice and solid. All right, this door here is a split door, so you can just have the lower half closed. If you've got young kids, that keeps the kids in. It still lets the air come in. As we head onto the inside, you can see it is carpeted throughout. This is the side dinette. This also folds into bunk beds, which I'll show you in some of the photos. And it has a curtain track around it and a curtain that stows away in that cupboard there so if you put the kids to bed earlier they can have a little bit of peace and quiet while the adults continue in the front lounge this front lounge up here folds into a double bed or can be used as two singles as you can see there is a wee bit of wear on the upholstery but that's in keeping with its age being a 2002, for the most part, this caravan is really, really tidy. There is no uh, damp spots or moisture ingress. It's as dry as a bone in here. All windows are double glazed and have fly screens. 
and blackout blinds. We also have curtains as well to keep the warmth in. So you can go away in the winter and this is nice and toasty in here. Down the bottom here, this is a LPG and a 230 volt heater. You don't need to have that running for long and this thing will be very warm. Plenty of storage up the top and below the seats. Let's swing the camera around. The 12 volt lighting is currently on. Running on LED and incandescent lamps. A good size oven with a four burner on top. It does have its manuals as well. So if you ever get stuck, you can just have a read through those and your answer should be in there. Good size sink and it also has the drain side as well. So you can put your wet dishes there. This is a three-way fridge running on LPG, 230 volt and 12 volt. Very handy for doing off the grid camping. Now we do have a hall cupboard here and your extra table outside stows away into here. And this is the curtain here that slides out around the kids bunks. Into the rear we have a decent sized bathroom. Instead of having a shower toilet combined, they are separate, which is brilliant. Flushable toilet, and then you have a separate shower. To the right, there is a full length wardrobe. So just to recap, this is a 2002 four berth Abbey Adventurer. Weighing around about the 1200 kilo mark. Please give me a call if you have any further questions. I'm more than happy to help. Thank you.